Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, why am I sharing all these things with you? This is a beautiful year. See? But I'll tell you this truth. It's a beautiful year because of the path that God is going to lead you in. It's not a beautiful year for the rest of the world. The rest, you, you're going to see lots of hardship. You're going to see it around you. But you see, don't get distracted by what's going on around you. In every hardship you see, in every difficult situation you see, there's a leeway that God has opened up for you. Now that's why in Isaiah he tells us the Lord will go before us and he will make the crooked path straight. It doesn't mean there were no crooked paths. Or if others go ahead, they will see crooked paths. They may call you and say the path is so crooked. You see, but then for you, the Lord is going ahead of you and his job is to see to it that the crooked paths have been made straight. So when they called you to say the path is crooked, they were not lying. But guess what? You have a sweeper who goes before you and fixes those things so that when you come, the crooked path will not be straight. Like, sorry, the crooked path will be straight. Now, I've been in situations you know, not just one, several, where <clears throat> maybe you, you go to an ATM to withdraw money, and then you, you see someone goes to that ATM and, and couldn't withdraw money. Oh, there's a problem with this ATM. And then, go, and then you just, okay, you know what? Let me just try it. And then you try it and money comes out. And you're like, oh, whoa. See, now what happened? That's just an example of how the Lord can go before you. <laughs> so, so what happened? The Lord went before you and fixed whatever was wrong and that just for you to, to get it. And then you find that I, the people that come after you, they say, ah, so what happened before? No, the Lord went ahead of you. Now, that's the mentality you should walk with this year. So you, but, but now you need to know something. You need to relate with the Lord. So, so Lord, is this the path you've gone ahead of? Because I'm not supposed to see any crooked path in it. See? So when the Lord said, that's the path you should go. And then you go and knowing one thing, you are not supposed to see. You're not the one that fixed the crooked path. You're not the one that called on the Lord to fix the crooked path. He fixes the crooked path before you come. Praise God. Now that's how we work this year. That's why I say stay out of strife. Do everything to stay out of strife. Don't let it fester around you. Like I told you yesterday, if you are in a situation where you have some measure of control, and you can, you can let someone go that is causing strife. The moment you see someone causing strife, you caution them and tell them straight on, you are causing strife and this is wrong. Repent. If they refuse to change, let them go. You know why? You are not going to let the devil enter into your organization this year. Now that's how you let the devil take over. He becomes the administrator. If you do things out of strife, if you, if you want to promote people and you notice that there's strife, leave it. Fix the strife issue. Because when you promote out of strife, you have given the right of your organization to, over to the devil. Oh yeah, I'm telling you the truth. Now then, let's go back to 2 Peter. Now it says, according as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue. See, it's a life of glory and virtue, not a life of strife, not a life of contention, not a life of envy. Don't envy anyone. Don't. See, he, he, he told us in Corinthians, says, all things are yours. So why are you envying? Everything you see in any man, you can get it. You have access to it. Say, how do I know? He has given to you all things that pertain to life and godliness. So you, you can see someone driving a wonderful car and say, whoa. Now bless God for their lives. Don't, don't even start thinking maybe they stole money. That's never your business. See, it's not none of your business. Of course, you know you're not going to steal money. See, but then it, it just tells you something. If that guy can steal money to get this thing. Oh. But you see, whatever you see in another person's life, you have access to it. You may not be driving it today, but you have access to drive that car when you are ready to drive it. So, I'm ready now. No, no, no. no. The fact that you think you're ready doesn't mean you're ready. And then it doesn't also mean that that person that is driving it was ready. Driving it. Watch their lives two years from now, 
five years from now, ten years from now, how that is going to end them. But let's, let, let, let me tell you what the Lord says concerning you. He says, the path of the just is like a shining light that does what? Shines brighter and brighter until the perfect day. So the day God will lift you to drive that car, you just know that you, you are never going to go one step lower than where you are right now. Never in your life. Now, that's why it's good to trust God to lift you up. Don't just copy men. Don't just compare yourselves with men. Say, can you imagine? And that guy is my mate too. And see what he's doing. Hey, hey, there are some other people who are your mate also and they've not gotten 10% of where you are. They've not gotten there yet. So don't start comparing. If, you're, if you want to compare yourself upwards, then also compare yourself downwards. And you just look and say, you know what? I think, I think I'm good. <laughs> Praise God. But see, truly, don't compare yourself at all with anyone, good or bad. Never compare. Don't even pray that prayer. You know, something I would think is humility. Say, Father, some people are in the hospital, but I am here to praise your name. No, you don't even compare yourselves like that. You don't know why they are in the hospital. You don't know. They might go through that hospital journey for something good in their lives. You don't know. So don't compare yourselves at all. See? Yeah, you know, sometimes people pray that prayer. It sounds like humility. Many are in the hospital bed. Many are in the prison. But thank God I am free. Hey, many are in the presidential palace. <laughs> so, so, if you want to compare, you see? So, never compare yourself at all. Face your lane. Praise God. Face your lane. And tell yourself, I'm going to fulfill every assignment that I see before my eyes, that the Lord will put before me. I'll fulfill it and I'll fulfill it good. Praise God. Tomorrow I'm going to finish this verse, Peter. So, so because tomorrow is the last day of the month of January, so February we will go into something big. Now remember, on Saturday and Sunday, we are having the first edition of this year's Sound the Alarm program plan for it. The address and everything is on the screen. Don't miss it. Praise God. I'm a tuba judge. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.